Now, your first alert weather. Cold and quiet conditions here for tonight and tomorrow. A little bit of a wind chill here to get your day started once again. There is a disturbance coming through Montana right now, mostly out towards Billings and up towards Glendive and North Dakota there. But uh, we're just getting a little cloud cover kind of just on the tail end of this thing. Uh, we're in between two systems here. Stormy weather, cold weather to the northeast of us. You got a storm system starting to build along the California coastline and it's going to meet up with its big brother over the weekend. We're going to get the one two punch of this low and that low coming together for your Saturday and Sunday, bringing us rain showers. With that wet weather arriving from the west, our temperatures are actually going to go up a little bit. We're hitting highs here around 34 on Friday and close to 40 on Saturday. This is Idaho Falls for the forecast here over the next couple of days. A normal high as we get into early February would be about 30 degrees. So we do expect to see much of the same here for tonight and tomorrow in terms of just what we've had for the past couple of days. Just kind of a cold and quiet forecast. Temperatures right where they should be for tomorrow afternoon around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. We'll have a few clouds drifting on by the continent divide, but otherwise it's going to be a sunny day out there. As we head into Friday, we start to see hints of changes in the forecast. Rain showers getting up towards Spokane and Coeur d'Alene and just starting to get into the U of I there by around 3 o'clock. And then more rain and snow will start to funnel in here for the overnight early morning hours on Saturday. Now notice there's a lot of green here on the map. This storm system is heading out of the southwest. It's going to turn our wind direction from the north to the southwest. That's going to put our snow level above 6,000 feet, leaving with most of us rain showers on Saturday. That's going to continue all day on Saturday with passing rain showers here. It'll turn to snow Sunday morning, but then we'll quickly get back to a little bit of rain before more snow gets in here on Monday. Monday morning could be a bit messy for the commute. Just a heads up now, but uh, we are definitely looking at a soggy forecast here with some good snow in the higher elevations. But before that happens again tonight, tomorrow morning, we have a little bit of a wind chill to get your day started. Not a whole lot of wind out there, just northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. When you have temperatures close to zero, especially in the upper valley, you'll get a little bit of that wind chill early in the morning with lows around 12 and lab hot springs and Malad highs here into the mid to upper 30s tomorrow, lower 30s in Preston and Soda with a 31 in Montpelier, 27 for the high in Rexburg and St. Anthony, 30 for the high in Island Park with the inversion, warmer in Island Park than Rexburg and St. Anthony, 25 for Jackson, minus two for the low there in Jackson tonight with a four in Arco, high of 28 for Arco tomorrow, 33 in Mackey and 37 in Salmon and around uh, Idaho Falls are hitting high of 29, same for Rigby, 31 in Black, but 37 in Pocatello, 40 for Burley. So here's your eight day forecast. You'll notice the temperatures are increasing here with the arrival of the wet weather from the west. This is before the cold front. Then after the cold front, there it is. You can see the dropping temperatures doing its thing with the cold front numbers here right around freezing on Monday with a high of 24 for Tuesday of next week. So we're looking at rain showers for the most part in Idaho Falls on Saturday and Sunday, mixing in with a little bit of snow, especially for the overnight early morning hours. Pocatello rain showers this weekend, a little snow trying to work through at times, but highs here into the mid to upper 40s on Saturday, upper 30s on Monday, and then the lower 30s on Tuesday. Definitely can see that cold front coming through there in the eight day forecast. Blackfoot highs here at 37 on Friday, 42 on Saturday and 37 on Sunday, dropping those temperatures into the mid 20s for the middle part of next week under mostly cloudy conditions and some scattered snow. We go to Rexburg highs here at around 27 for tomorrow, 32 right at freezing on Friday, increasing that cloud cover Friday afternoon before the stormy weather sets in on Saturday and Sunday and over to Salmon and Chalice. We'll have highs here yeah, very nice into the upper 30s, very close to 40 for a Again, tomorrow and Friday around the valleys of central Idaho before some rain sets in for Saturday, mixing with a little bit of snow on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week and over to Jackson. And this is also going to be true for the Teton County, Idaho side and further south into Star Valley and Soda Springs. You're hitting highs here in the lower 30s this weekend with passing snow showers and some gusty winds for the Monday, Tuesday period of next week. We'll send it back over to Jane Carroll.